Who was the first player to hit 10 home runs in a season? Welcome to Baseball Brewhaw. How we got coffee and trivia. This one feels like silliness to talk about given the era of baseball that we live in and we have lived in for a very long time. Uh, Adam, what do we got? We've got the first player to hit 10 home runs in a season. I mean, that feels like just about every player these days. Mm -hmm. Um, But there was a time when 10 was, I mean, the league leader at some time had like seven, eight, nine home runs. So JP Crawford has 11. He does. He does. So who was the first to hit 10 in a season? Mm -hmm. Our options are Lip, Pike, (laughs) Babe Ruth. That's a familiar one. Harry Stovey. Or Ned Williamson. What do you got? Jeez. Oh, um, I know Babe's records did some things. He did. Uh, there were some other guys that there was some another familiar name ish that I was waiting for. Um, who are you waiting for? I don't know. I was just like <laughs> just like, like the the home home run baker. <laughs> home run <laughs> baker. <laughs> <laughs> um I don't gosh I'm gonna go with Ruth um I don't know that that's right but I'm gonna okay I I, I'm, I have a second I'm gonna go Ruth I'm gonna go Ruth. I'm, I'm going Harry Stovey I was thinking of that too but okay I, I feel like his name is a little familiar mm-hmm. and maybe it's for this reason maybe it's not maybe I've actually never heard of the guy but we're going Harry Stovey mm-hmm. or let's go to the go to the notes and see what we got the first to hit 10 oh boy what do we got <laughs> the sigh was like <laughs> he's not even on the list <laughs> yeah it's actually bam bujakowski <laughs> um the correct answer is Harry Stovey. Oh, nice work. Nice a work. First baseman for the Philadelphia A's hit 14 in 1883. Wow. Harry Stovey doing work. 1883. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Well, so maybe I have heard of this guy for this reason. I was I just, could, just I couldn't place it. That's for sure. Mm-hmm. I I definitely can't tell you why I would know that yeah i was just trying to think uh it, like if i ever hit 10 home runs in my life in like any sort of baseball or softball um and like i know i hit one over a fence and i hit a couple i'm sure i hit a couple inside the park or, no i hit two over a fence uh one in little league and one in high school uh and then i'm sure i have some inside the parkers i've hit four in softball so uh, that's six, I know for sure. Probably eight. I'm close. I'm close to ten. I'm close. Yeah, but I don't know if I'm there. Well, you, you got all your t-ball home runs too. But those I do. Are, that's true. The, I do. Probably I, zero of those are over hey, the fence. I hit. I hit. I think I hit sixteen, if I recall correctly. That's ten. That's more than ten. Yeah, you got Harry Stovey beat just for that one season. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I I am. I'm not at ten. I'm not even close. I didn't hit any over any fence, softball, baseball, nothing. I've never had okay. that feeling other than you and I going out and hitting in the yard. Yeah. Yeah. I, so, um, uh, my, one of my friends, Daniel, uh, we played softball together. He had a home run so far <laughs> in softball. I was like, you have to be kidding me <laughs> thing. We had like, you know, you have the fences like 320 or 330 or something like that. Then there's like a little bit of a hill that's like 20, 30 feet and a sidewalk. And then a bank to a pond <laughs> with trees that are like 60 feet tall. And the heat cleared the trees. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh, this is a softball. Like, this is unreal. So some guys got it. Yeah. He's it's got fun it. to watch. 
he he was fun. He's interesting to play with because he really like okay in our the we played rec league, and you only could hit one home run a game per team, <laughs> like not one more than the other team. One home run, which made no sense, you know, but one home run. So he really struggled. <laughs> <laughs> not like he'd hit a home run like he it was just so easy for him to hit home runs <laughs> so it was it was a challenge got to work on that warning track power by the way i want a, a little birthday shout out La- yes in yesterday's show we were talking about some of the all-star teams we played on with kearns and his slider one of the guys that played on that team is a good friend of ours um growing up david um and david we go play out at his house out in out in the the boonies and um he had a great little setup for a little tennis ball yard with a with a big short porch and right field and the whole deal but it's his birthday today and so we want to say happy birthday to david um i don't think he's watching but i remember probably David's not. yeah birthdays today so yeah birthday. speaking of hitting home runs his yard was like it was so it was fun. like the best setup yeah yes yeah, satellite dish and left center yeah the the big rock wall running out in the right center, man. Yeah, you know, boom. That thing was that was cool. Home home run derby. We played spent hours. Yeah, playing home run derby out there. Yeah, and Ken Griffey Junior. Baseball and the Super in the SNES. Yeah. You know, this is the first time I ever did fantasy baseball. It was it was his right. house, his house yeah. setting up a team and yeah. So introduced us to the interwebs. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to head. Todd Helton was the best player on my first ever fantasy baseball team. Yeah, I was trying to remember. I can't remember. I think I had, oh, you know, Mike Sweeney. Um, well, oh, I think yeah. it was the year, I think I had him on the te- my team the year he had that huge f- section of the season. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> Nobody cares. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us, everybody. We'll be back out tomorrow.